Welcome to the Windows channel and today we're taking a look at the Opera browser for Windows 10. Uh, the Opera browser, I've uh, not used this in a long time. Last time I used it was on a mobile device which was the uh, Opera browser made for a Palm um, device. So for anyone who knows what a Palm is, you just guessed it. It's been a really long time since I've actually uh, used a Opera browser and it was Opera Mini which is not a full browser. So Opera is a web browser like Internet Explorer and Microsoft Edge um, and it is a free browser that you can get at opera.com. I'll be posting the link to the website to download this in the description below the video. Basically once it's installed you've got that little red O for Opera it is a nice browser actually and um, one of the nice things about it is uh, first of all when you load it for the first time it actually goes to a web page which is the speed dial and speed dial is always accessible at the top left next to the uh, address bar and speed dial is fun because it's basically a, uh, a number of web pages that you can actually customize to have it as your own favorite web pages. So for example, this is what they give me as the um, default, but you can change this. I could say, okay, booking.com, I'm never going to go there. I'll edit and I'll change this to, uh, say, uh, Throt website and then just change the address here to www dot t h u r r o t t dot com so for example and I click OK and what it does is that now I've got one of my favorite websites in the notes here on Opera which is very nice now even though on some pages I've seen uh, some weird things happen a little bit it seems to be very compatible with pretty much everything it sometimes displays a little awkwardly, but it works very well in general. I haven't, I can't say I've had a problem with it in, um, you know, surfing the web. I've checked many web pages, and uh, it's fun for that. So you have this start page, which is a speed dial. You have, of course, a bar at the bottom with speed dial bookmarks. You can click the discover button, which is nice. Discover button gives you, um, you know, ways to see other things, uh, top stories, arts, business, entertainment, technology stuff. Uh, a little bit of news and so on. It is interesting to uh, check it out. I think it's one of the neat features also of Opera. It uh, of course includes uh, automatically the um, Google Chrome favorites or bookmarks and that I found interesting because it you know enables me to get to my uh, Chrome bookmarks quite easily. You can log in to the browser uh, on the top right and what it does it synchronizes all of your favorites and settings in between Opera browsers on all the computers you might be using which is quite fun. That is often one of the problems with browsers um, you know like Microsoft Edge not synchronizing is not cool. Um, it is a fast browser uh, I've used it a lot and every web page that I go to is fast takes you know seconds to load pages and it is one of the fast browsers out there even uh, heavy pages like the one I just uh, show you here which is a local newspaper are really amazing fast compared to some other browsers I will be of course testing this because it's easy to see like that but it might not be that easy to see so I will be of course in my next test of browsers including Opera uh, in those tests because I think it's worth it to try. It uh, is free download. Of course you've got a menu on the upper left so uh, that's maybe one thing for people that aren't used to using uh, software. You know uh, as a tech guy I know that a lot of people have difficulty finding stuff sometimes because they just don't look and click. But on the upper left you've got the Opera with the little red O and basically that's where you get the full menu of pretty much everything you can do. Uh, it works with extensions. Um, I believe it works with Google extensions also. Uh, works well 
and I think it's a neat little browser for anyone looking for something else uh, than their general browsers that we have all the time on um, Windows. So this is the Opera browser for Windows 10. I will be, um, of course, putting the link of opera.com to the description of the video. So if you want to download it and try it out, and maybe, who knows, you will find that it is an interesting browser for your particular web use. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And um, we post tons of videos every week. We try to help and have lots of fun learning more Windows 10. If you subscribe um, and like our videos, why not give us thumbs up? Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, uh, let us know. And uh, maybe we can help others at the same time. Thank you for watching and following us on the channel. It's always a pleasure to have your feedback.